afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, greeting from Moscow, from Russia, from Sechenov University. Uh, my name is Dmitry Yenikev, and today we would like to discuss new technology, uh, thulium fiber laser, and I will focus on bladder cancer surgery. So, bladder cancer is among top 10 most frequent cancers in the world. At the same time, 75% of all bladder cancers are non-muscle invasive. It's very interesting to look at the guidelines, European guidelines, over the, and to see the changes over the last four years. Uh, in 2016, EU recommended transuterine resection as the main treatment option for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. In 2017, they kept this recommendation but added unblock as a possible option. And in 2018, unblock joined transuterine resection as first-line treatment and stayed there in 2020. The reason for such changes in the guidelines was critical importance of muscle on pathology. If muscle is absent, repeat transuterine resection is necessary. Unblock uh, translates in, from French into all at once. It includes uh, the tumor itself uh, plus surrounding mucosa with 5 to 10 millimeter margin and muscle layer. Simultaneous resection of these parts should allow us to decrease uh, the reimplantation rate and provide clear, clearly defined surg surgical margins. For a long time, transuterine resection has been the gold standard for non-muscle invasive. At the same time, uh, unblock is rather quickly becoming popular and uh, there was a very interesting article published in Giendo some time ago uh, of over 200 urologists polled, uh, more than a third answered that they use unblock whenever possible, and only 12% never never use this technique. Different energy sources are possible to use for unblock resection: uh, electrosurgery, mono and bipolar, and different lasers, holmium yak and thulium yak. And according to study published by Donna Hansel in European Urology, electric energy may damage the sample and no detrusor will be seen on morphology. But at the same time, there are also other opinions. For example, Dr. Cromer and Dr. Herman assure that both options are safe and have comparable oncological outcomes. And like with endoscopic enucleation of the prostate, energy source is secondary. However, is it really so? The obturator nerve reflex can be a serious problem during electrosurgery, even causing perforation, but not during laser resection. Uh, terrible, terrible video, nightmare of urologists. Uh, we at Station of University started our M block experience with Holmium Yak laser. However, during Holmium, using Holmium laser, we found out that the incision quality and hemostasis were by no means bad, but we were not satisfied with them. And we wish for something more precise, something more effective, something more delicate. And for that reason, we started collaborating with IPG company. It's one of the leaders in laser technology. And our aim was to develop a, a new device uh, that would meet all the needs of, uh, of urologists. And uh, to achieve that goal, we organized a laser lab, uh, technology laser lab in our university. Here it is. And as a result uh, of this collaboration, uh, now we have a new thulium fiber laser. So on the left picture, you, uh, on the left side, you may, you may, there is a uh, version for Russian market by IPG and it was approved in Russia uh, in 2016 and the right model is for the world market produced by Olympus. A few words about this technology. One of its key properties is its wavelength. It is 1.94 micrometers and it matches the peak of water absorption, which is the major tissue component that absorbs laser energy. So, for example, the holmium yaks and thulium, thulium yax laser wavelengths are significantly off the peak. Currently in Russia, there are two models of thulium fiber laser. 
The first one is device with peak power of 100 watts. It works in pulse quasi-continuous mode and has excellent cutting properties. The second one is a super pulse laser with a peak power of 500 watts and average power of 40 watts. So this device works in super pulse mode and it is perfect for lithotripsy. At the same time, its cutting properties are comparable with those of Holmium. To understand this technology, it is better to compare it with well-known Holmium, Holmium device. So, the Holmium Yak device combines output of several flash lamp pump Holmium Yak crystal lasers into one surgical fiber. As for the Thulium fiber laser, it is different in this regard. It uses about 30 meters of active Thulium fiber pumped by a small diet laser as a laser source. Another important difference of this technology is its energy efficiency, which translates into two things. First, you don't need any special adapters. You can just plug it into the wall. Second, Tulum Fiber Laser uses air cooling in contrast to all other systems that use water cooling. All this makes it lighter and more compact. And what is also very important, it is much quieter than solid-state lasers. Here, here they are. So, in our lab, in Session of University, we performed an in, an in vitro study and compared it with Holmium laser and found optimal settings for bladder surgery. Energy 1 joule and average power 10 watts. So, and in contrast, it's very important, in contrast to Thulum Yak laser, it allows us to decrease carbonization due to its pulse mode of operation. So, a picture is worth a thousand words. Let's see it. Uh, one joule, ten watts. These settings now we use for effective tissue cutting with excellent hemostatic effect and no carbonization. Usually, the surgery starts with a circle incision around the tumor. The incision is made at about five to seven millimeters away from the tumor. It is continued deeper until the muscle layer is visible. You may see that there are no bleeding vessels and hemostasis is almost perfect. After we complete the circle incision, it is possible then to go under the tumor. As you can see, the laser allows for making precise and effective incisions without burning the tissue, so that all the layers are clearly visible. And also, you may see that the how delicately the laser separates muscle, muscle fibers. <laughs> and of course, who is especially satisfied with this technology is our pathologists. And you may see that the laser effect on tissue at the coagulation zone are minimal. Usually, unblock is recommended for tumors less than 3 centimeters because larger tumors are difficult to remove through the, through the resectoscope. However, now, uh, a lot of companies working on the issue of tumor extraction. And here are currently available options. Uh, Alex Evacuator uh, or Janice Syringe. Someone use uh, laparoscopic grasp. Someone use endobag. And we at Session of University, we mostly use morcellation. And uh, contrary to what it seems, we do not violate the key principles of unblock. So, uh, yes, at first we perform superficial resection up to the submucosa. It allows us to separate the exophytic part of the tumor from its base. And then we uh, use, here it is, and then we use marcellation, marcellate the tumor. As it's rather soft, it usually takes 5 to 10 seconds. And then we perform unblock resection up to the deep muscle layer. And this material we also separately send to morphologists and have a rather good staging. The material from Mercellator we also send to morphologists and from that material we have very good grading of tumor. Another advantage of Tulium Fiber Laser is that it allows for precise separation of the orifice and the tumor when they are close to each other, without injuring the ureter. 
using laser energy, we can delicately avoid the orifice. In some cases, the orifice can be involved into the tumor. Then it is possible to perform the usual unblock. However, to prevent the possible urethral stenosis, we stand it at the end of the surgery. So here is the final step, and here is the stenting. So th these techniques were presented at AEA meeting in 2018. It was uh, awarded best video of the session. And at the same time, uh, this year at Virtual European Congress, our video took third place. So uh, our first experience with this technology, which is uh, going to be soon published in Bladder Cancer Journal, showed that film fiber and block resection provides better relapse free rate at six months and better detrusor detection rate. Summing up, thulium fiber laser is a novel, novel device with proven high efficacy uh, and safety profiles and what is just as important in bladder cancer surgery, it offers good material for pathologists. So, thank you for, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.